Today I want to share with you how to make a homemade electrolyte drink. This is a wonderful sports drink and it can also help aid in weight loss, which I'm especially interested in. Hi sweet friends, I'm Mary and welcome to Mary's Nest, where I teach traditional cooking skills for making nutrient-dense foods like bone broth, ferment, sourdough, and more. So if you enjoy learning about those things, consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to click on the little notification bell below. That'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Well, this electrolyte drink couldn't be easier to make and all the ingredients can easily be found at your local supermarket. Now I'm going to go over the ingredients and the instructions for how to make this electrolyte drink, but you don't need to write anything down. If you open the description below under this video, I'll have a link. It'll say recipe. And if you click on that, it'll take you over to my website, Mary's Nest, same name as my YouTube channel, and you can read the recipe online or you can print it out. So first of all, exactly what are electrolytes? Basically, they're just a mix of minerals that all work together in our body to keep us healthy and feeling good. But certain things can make us lose those electrolytes or get our electrolytes out of balance, and so they need to be replenished. Now, there are a lot of fruits and vegetables and other foods that contain electrolytes, and we can certainly use those to replenish the electrolytes in our body. But often we want to replenish those electrolytes quickly. And that's where these electrolyte drinks or sports drinks come in handy. Because one of the ways that we can get our electrolytes out of balance is if we're very active in sports or doing some type of exercise that's causing a lot of perspiration. Having an electrolyte drink can replenish those electrolytes quickly and help us to feel better, help us feel refreshed, help us feel energetic, prevent a headache, and so on and so forth. And there are other reasons sometimes why our electrolytes get out of balance. It can be related to particular medical conditions we may have. It can also be related to certain medications that we take. And if you find that you have a lot of symptoms that may indicate an electrolyte balance, like feeling weak or having headaches and whatnot, you can always talk to your doctor about this and they can run a test to find out if your electrolytes are out of balance. But if you find you play a lot of sports or you exercise a lot and you know that you're really perspiring and you can pretty much guess that your electrolytes are getting a little out of balance, a drink like this can come in very handy. But I also want to share with you why this can come in handy if you're trying to lose weight. If you're a woman who's 45 or older, and I'm in my mid-60s, so this really interested me. But if you are a woman and you're over 45 and you're struggling to lose weight, it may wind up being related to the fact that you have an electrolyte imbalance. Now, I've read some very interesting articles and some very interesting research about this. And in the corresponding blog post, where you'll find the recipe as well uh, for this drink, but in the corresponding blog post, I'll be sure to link to the articles and whatnot that I read that discusses this and how electrolytes and weight loss can be related. But basically what the bottom line is, is that especially in women, if our electrolyte balance gets out of whack, it can cause us to have a lot of cravings. And then it can make it very difficult if we're trying to stick to a particular diet. So having a handy electrolyte beverage on hand may help quell those cravings and help us to stick to our diet plan. And the nice thing about a homemade electrolyte beverage it can help the belly fat go first. Now, as I said, this is very easy to make and you're never going to have to buy an electrolyte drink or a sports drink ever again. And it's got very natural basic ingredients in it, which is really nice since a lot of the ones that are sold at the grocery store often have artificial coloring or artificial flavoring in them. And you don't need to worry about this when you make it homemade. Now the first step of making this electrolyte drink is to make your electrolyte powder. And this is gonna make a total of 48 servings. And I wanted to tell you that in advance, that this is 48 servings, because I didn't want you to get scared when I tell, tell you how much salt goes into this. Now you're just gonna to wanna to get some kind of jar, whatever you have on hand to mix this up in. And the first thing that you're gonna need is a half a cup of salt. And you're going to want a real salt. 
And when I say real salt, what I want you to look for is a salt that contains nothing but salt. When you look at the package ingredients, you want to make sure that it just says salt. You don't want any chemicals and you don't want any anti-caking agents to be added to your salt. And if you've not seen my previous video uh, where I go over sort of the whole continuum of salt that most of us are going to find at our grocery store and where I talk about which are the best salts and the essential salts that you should be keeping in your prepper pantry, I'll be sure to link to that video so that you can watch that and catch up on the whole discussion about salt. And it's really important to learn about salt and learn about where it comes from because more and more salt is getting contaminated with something known as microplastics. And in that previous video, I discuss which salts are high in microplastics and which salts are very low in microplastics. And the reason why we don't want to have too many microplastics in our salt is because they contain chemicals that are not necessarily good for our bodies. Now what I've got here is the Redmond Real Salt, and that's just plain salt. Another salt that I'll often use is the French Celtic Sea Salt. It's the wet gray sea salt. But whatever salt you decide to use, as I said, just salt, and you want the fine ground, and you want a half a cup of the fine ground sea salt. Now I just want to mention, this is the salt that I'm using. And now this isn't a sponsored post, I just like this salt and I really have to thank uh, many of you for introducing me to this because I've always used the Celtic sea salt in the past. Uh, but I wanted to show you this so you'd know what to look for at your grocery store because they do sell this at my grocery store. And the reason that you want to use some type of real salt is because a salt like this or the Celtic sea salt, they're unrefined salts and they're very very rich in minerals. And that's what we want to replenish in our bodies when our electrolyte mineral balance may be out of whack. Next, you're going to need one and three quarter teaspoons of potassium chloride. Now, don't worry. I know you're saying, Mary, I thought you said this was all easy to find at the grocery store. And potassium chloride is very easy to find at the grocery store. And I'm going to tell you why. When you're in the seasonings aisle where they sell salt at your grocery store, you're going to want to look for something called new salt. And basically all this is is a salt substitute. And there may be other brands, but I particularly like this brand and I'll tell you why in a minute. And the nice thing about this is this is not going to break your grocery budget. At my grocery store, this is just about a dollar. I think it was specifically a dollar and ten cents. And this is going to last you a nice long time and allow you to make plenty of electrolyte mixes. The only thing that I want to tell you about this potassium chloride is that when you look at the various new salt or no salt or salt alternatives, they'll often be labeled different things. When you look for one to buy to make this electrolyte drink, check the back and make sure that all it says after the ingredients is potassium chloride. You do not want any brand that says other things in addition to the potassium chloride. You don't want any chemicals and you don't want any anti-caking agents. And the reason is you want to keep this as natural as possible and you don't want to be adding in artificial ingredients or chemicals. Next, you're going to need a half a teaspoon of magnesium glycinate powder. And again, just like the potassium chloride, this is also very easy to find at your local grocery store. Just head over to the vitamin aisle at your grocery store. And if your grocery store doesn't have a vitamin aisle, most do today. But if it doesn't, you can also find this at Walmart, at any of the big box stores like Sam's and Costco. They often have magnesium glycinate in their vitamin section. Or you can just go to a pharmacy type store like CVS or Walgreens. They'll definitely carry this. And when you do get into the vitamin aisle, you'll see various types of magnesium and you just want to look for the one that says magnesium glycinate. And they'll be in capsules, usually like little gelatin type capsules that you can open. And the reason you want the magnesium glycinate is that particular type of magnesium is absorbed quite nicely by the body. Now, if you prefer both magnesium glycinate as well as potassium chloride, can be purchased often online and in little bulk, you know, amounts. Uh, but as I said, it's really not necessary. It's very easy to find these at your local grocery store. 
Now, as I said, this is going to make a total of 48 servings. We're going to go ahead and we're going to make our powder, which is really nice because we always have this powder ready. And then I'll show you how to actually make the electrolyte drink or the sports drink. Very easy to do. And this method is so convenient because you're not trying to make a new liquid batch of the electrolyte drink or a sports drink each time. This way you've got your powder and boom, you can have this ready in a few minutes, even less than that. Now, the first thing we're going to do is I'm just using a funnel here to try and be a little neat. And I'm just going to go ahead and get all this salt into my jar. And this dry mixture is shelf stable and you can store this in your pantry. And next, I'm going to go ahead and put in the potassium chloride. And then after that, I'm just going to follow up with the magnesium glycinate. And you know, speaking of uh, pantry and storing this in your pantry, uh, I have a 36 page pantry list and it's a wonderful help if you're new to traditional foods and you're making the transition from a processed foods kitchen to a traditional foods kitchen. And I outline all the types of things that you want to consider adding to your four corners pantry, which means your everyday working pantry, your fridge, your freezer, and your extended pantry, or what we call the prepper pantry. And uh, when you're over on my website, you know, looking for this recipe, uh, you can also download that uh, pantry list as well. Or you can even just down, you don't even have to print it out because this is 36 pages long. Uh, you can even just have it on your phone and then it's very handy for you whenever you're grocery shopping. And in it I also have a lot of links to videos where I show you how to use all the ingredients and recipes that you can make uh, with the ingredients and it's all videos and printable recipes. So I don't, I don't just give you a list and leave you high and dry. <laughs> But in any event, all you want to do now is just make sure that you can really uh, mix this in well. You want to make sure that the magnesium glycinate and the uh, potassium chloride are well mixed throughout the salt because there's a lot of salt but a small amount of the other two ingredients. And I want to mention, I'm just making an amount here for 48 servings, but you can certainly make more. You can double or triple this recipe. Now I want to show you how to actually turn this into an electrolyte drink. Now, we're going to just start with the very basic drink, which is basically adding a little powder uh, to our water. But I'm going to also show you how to make this look more and taste more like uh, a sports drink that you would buy at the grocery store. And then I'm also going to show you, especially if you're using this for weight loss and you kind of want to jazz it up and make it kind of a designer <laughs> electrolyte drink, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Now, once you get this really mixed up well, all you need to do is get 32 ounces of water. That's four cups. And if you're measuring in liters, don't worry. Uh, 32 ounces or four cups is very close to one liter. It's a little less than one liter, but don't worry about being so exact. If you are measuring in liters, a liter of water will be just fine. Then all you want to do is take a half a teaspoon of your dry mixture and go ahead and add that into your 32 ounces of water. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my half a teaspoon of this electrolyte powder into our water. And then I'm just going to give this a good mix until the powder mixture is completely dissolved. Alrighty, I think I've got that all dissolved. And now we'll just give it a little taste. I'll let you know how it is. Basically tastes like water. You hardly notice, I think because you're only using a half a teaspoon of this in 32 ounces of water, that you really don't get a strong salty flavor. Now, it's recommended that you drink 32 ounces of this if you feel you need to replenish your electrolytes, maybe because of sports or, or uh, exercise or whatever the case may be. And for weight loss, it's also recommended that you drink 32 ounces of this. And if you're doing this for weight loss, you can spread this out over the day and just kind of be sipping on it throughout the day, maybe in about eight ounce portions, especially if you feel that you've got a craving coming on.
Now you can flavor this up to make this more similar in taste to the sports drinks that are sold at the grocery store by adding about a quarter cup of juice. And some juices that are great to add to this can be orange juice or pineapple juice. Orange juice is very rich in vitamin C and pineapple juice contains a lot of anti-inflammatories. So if you feel you have a lot of aches and pains from your sports uh, or your exercise, pineapple juice may be, good, may be a good option. And you just need about a quarter of a cup. You can also add a little stevia if you want to sweeten it up a bit and stevia being a no calorie sweetener may be an option for you. Uh, you could also add a little maple syrup if you don't mind the calories or a little honey. Uh, if you want to use a little sucanat or rapadura, which is just the dried cane juice, you can uh, dilute that a little bit uh, with some of this liquid first and then, you know, really to get so that it distributes uh, through the water very well and very thoroughly. Uh, you could also use coconut syrup or date syrup or even coconut sugar. Again, just dilute it a little uh, with, with a little bit of this liquid and then add it in to make sure that it really mixes well thoroughly. And it's fine to use stevia, you know, especially if you're watching the calories. But the nice thing about maple syrup or honey or coconut sugar or date sugar, they also add additional nutrients and minerals to your drink. Now, if you want to turn this into sort of a fancy uh, spa type electrolyte water drink, you can definitely do that in a nice mug. I've just got a canning jar here that's been turned into a little mug and you can put some sliced fruit in here. You can put some sliced vegetables like uh, cucumbers work really well. Uh, you can add uh, some lemons, some limes, whatever you want. And you can, and you don't need a lot. And you can just put that into your, uh, you know, maybe about a quarter of the way up of your uh, container. Uh, what I've got here, as I said, this is a canning jar turned into a little mug, uh, but it does hold the 32 ounces and the 32 ounces, you know, come up to about here. So you have a little wiggle room to make sure that you can get all your liquid in. But you can just put about a quarter of a cup of, you know, as a cut up fruit, herbs, uh, veggies. There's so much that you can do. And then just go ahead and pour your solution on top and then put that in your refrigerator the night before. And then when you get up in the morning, you're going to have a really nicely infused electrolyte water that you can sip on throughout the day. So I've got a quarter cup of orange juice here and I'm going to go ahead and just add this right into my electrolyte drink. And then we'll give this a nice stir. And there we've got our wonderful sports drink and a lot healthier version than what we can find at the grocery store. Now, if you've got one of those plastic squirt type sports bottles, those are perfect for this. But I'm gonna go ahead and just decant this into some of the bottles that I also use when I make kombucha. But this will be great and I'll pop these in my fridge. Now I wanna show you how I like to flavor my electrolyte water to help with weight loss and make it like a little bit more of a spa water. But I also wanna mention that in the printable recipe, I will include different variations for how to flavor your sports drink, different juices, different sweeteners, so on and so forth. So for this version, what I like to do is take some fresh fruit, whatever I've got that's in season. I've got some blueberries, some blackberries, raspberries, and then I want to add a little bit of veggie. I love adding cucumber to these waters. I just find it so refreshing, especially in these warm summer months. And then I also like to add in a little ginger for its help in terms of uh, offering anti-inflammatory benefits. And as I mentioned, you really don't need a lot. I'm just going to go ahead and put this down into my mug here and then we'll add our uh, electrolyte water to this. So I've got another batch here and I've got all the salt dissolved Then I'm just going to go ahead and fill this to the top. I got a little tiny bit left in here but I'll just drink that separately. So what I'm going to do is just put this lid on. I'm going to stick the straw down in here and 
definitely, yes, yeah, so you could start drinking this right now, even within a few hours. But what I like to do is put this in the refrigerator overnight and have this all ready for me uh, in the morning so I have my electrolyte drink to sip on throughout the day to fight cravings. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the benefits of using salt in your diet, real salt, not one that's loaded with chemicals and anti-caking agents, but just real salt that's rich in minerals and good for our bodies, be sure to click on this video over here where I talk about the essential salts that you do want to have in your traditional foods kitchen. And I also share a lot of other information on all the wonderful things to stock in your pantry for the traditional foods kitchen. And I'll see you over there in my Texas Hill Country Kitchen. Love and God bless.